What's up guys? I am about to go work out. So I'm going to take you guys through my leg day. We got glutes and ham focus today. We're gonna do legs and then later on in this video we're gonna do this like, I have this like teeth whitening kit thing and I'm super interested in it and I'm gonna take you guys on the journey of how it works and if it actually works and then if you guys like it, you can get it. I bought it at like TJ Maxx or something. So that's gonna be interesting. Hopefully it doesn't mess up my teeth, but we'll see. So officially eight, eight, am I good? Officially four, nope, I'm doing really good right now. It is officially um, just under three and a half weeks until show day, show day is July 11th. If you're new here, I am competing in NPC figure show on July 11th. I've been dieting for like, um, 13, 14 weeks, so it's been a, a long journey, but a fun one. And so yeah, the things that I usually take um, before I work out, obviously I had a really good meal this morning. I ate my normal breakfast that I usually have, um, but I always have a pre-workout of choice. This today, Bubblicious. I've been using I think since Bubblicious came out, this is my second tub. Since Bubblicious came out, I haven't used any other like flavored ghost pre-workout. That's how in love I am with it. So if you haven't tried this, I highly recommend it. It tastes exactly like you're chewing bubble gum, but in a liquid form. It's amazing. If I pour it all over my body and just smell and taste like this, then I would do that. So definitely worth a try. We love it. Right, Max? We love it? Do you love it? Okay. He talks all the time and now he just decides not to talk, so that's great, but do a whole scoop. That's a scoop. Anywhere from like, I usually, I like to enjoy it. So a lot of people do six ounces. I usually do eight to 10 ounces of water and then I always use ice. Let's get some ice. Everything tastes better when it's cold, except for just like normal water. I prefer room temperature water any day of the week unless I'm dying and it's hot outside. Other than that, I love room temperature water. If you think otherwise, comment down below and I will just dislike your comment. So go ahead and do that. Do that if you want. So I usually start drinking this anywhere from like 15 to 20 minutes before my workout. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, which a ton of you guys do, um, you know that I do my pre-pre-talks and I drink my pre-workout. If you don't know the pre-pre-talk, follow me on Instagram and you will be motivated, you'll laugh, or you'll laugh at me. I mean, whatever comes first, really. So, yeah, I do that and then I do a um, scoop of pump. So this is sour, um, sour watermelon warheads. I just do this right to the dome. I don't like to mix the two because when I mix the two, then the flavors mix and I just want to enjoy the Bubblicious and then I want to enjoy the scoop of sour watermelon on its own. So up to you and your preferences. A lot of people do aminos. They stack all three different things together, but I like to keep them separate and just enjoy the taste. So yeah, let's go to the gym. I usually take some um, L-tyrosine before my workout. It basically just makes me feel good and just like positive energy, all that good stuff. It's in a lot of your teas, um, but I can't find it. So here we go. Are you ready? <laughs> Mickey, you ready? Stop getting so close to the camera. Sir. Mushy. Oh, Mr. Mushy. Mozzie. What? Now you want to talk? Okay. Goodbye. I'll be back. Goodbye. Got it. This is what I take. It says supports normal health, nervous system activity. I just know that it's like a feel-good pill. 
It doesn't mean go buy it and take it, but this is just what I was recommended by my coach to take, okay? Everyone relax. In my life, I was fine, and all of a sudden, I'm like, holy shit. Yeah. You know, and they said, you look good, Eileen. You look healthy. Okay, so did I not look healthy when I was skinny? No, you just, that's why you don't listen to other people. Just don't listen to other people's opinions. I never do. You got boobs now. I said, I don't give a shit if I got boobs now. I'm going to tell you one thing. I don't have boobs or an ass right now. I'm just a flabby <laughs> flabberson. You're not flabby. Well, I'm just a, a brick wall. Body? What's your body percent, your fat percent? Do you even know that? I don't know. I can step on there and see what it is. I'm just not allowed to know my weight, so. Yeah, I would say, well, next time you go on it, just see what it is. What your fat percentage is. Yeah. You're probably down to three. No, I'm not that low. I would I would have lost my menstrual cycle and I haven't lost that. So Well it's still it's all I mean we your fat percentage was always low, so your period's always all over the Y'all are about to see behind the scenes of my pre pre talks. We got little dinosaur horse dragon zebra. That's his name because we don't know what the fuck he is. We got this little guy. I put him in my steering wheel. And then I set up my phone. And then we talk to the people. This is how it works. Definitely look, probably look like a freak right now. Usually do anyways. Because I have my camera right there. I have my phone and my steering wheel. I probably look like I'm obsessed with myself. So here we are. <laughs> All right. So usually for my topics for pre-pre talks, it's usually like driven by something that pisses me off in the day, something that motivates me, or like I have to like think about something that motivates me or pisses me off. So topic for today, I don't really, I don't have one ready yet, but I think, I don't know. I just talked to my, you guys just saw, I was talking to my mom and uh, we're talking about health. So something health related, let's see. I should probably talk about like, hmm. Y'all are really seeing behind the scenes of this right now. Let's do... Let's talk about long-term health. Because like my mom right now is always complaining about her health. And if she would have made the right decisions earlier, it would be so different. Let's talk about that. All right, here we go. This is how I decide topics. <laughs> pre pre talk, break. <laughs> All right, I set it onto hands-free too. I don't know if you guys know how to do that, but set it to hands-free, slide the bottom on Instagram, pick a filter, hit start only four slides so a minute total i get to talk all right if you don't follow me on instagram then none of this makes sense to you right now so go ahead follow me on instagram <laughs> all right here we go smashing that bubblicious today just dropped right now like 30 minutes ago rob litz at um whiskey sour go ahead swipe up and grab you some of that um, I've heard good things about it, so grab it. Maybe I'll be grabbing it. I don't know. Maybe not. I don't know. Okay, welcome to today's pre-pre talk. Um, today's topic is going to be about long-term health, okay? I think too often we're worried about, like, summer abs. We're, working about, we're worried about losing fat for a wedding, for a vacation, for your boyfriend. I don't know what your problems are, but we got to look at a long-term goal. Why are we always so quick to look at this short-term goal? Let's worry about our health in the future. I just got off the phone with my mom and we were talking about her health and all this. And if she would have taken control of that a lot sooner, she would be so much more healthier now. So take control of your health now. If you need guidance, get it now. Stop freaking waiting. Okay. That's it. So I just recorded that. And then now I literally spend zebra horse dragon goes in the back. And then I spend like probably another like 10 minutes sipping on my pre pre and editing all of this stuff because I make it super pretty. You guys know that. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Wrap this up. We'll dome some pump and then um, we're going to go work out. Okay. Now we dome water first. I got eight just some it's like I ate just <clears throat> uh, why was it so hard? 
It's like I just ate some sour candy. I'm doing really good at talking today. This is my beautiful gym. If you've ever been to a One Life, you know how amazing it is. It's better than Lifetime. Fuck you, Lifetimers. All right, so instead of just throwing some music on, I decided why not just talk over through my workout, kind of give you an idea of how I'm feeling, how everything's been, uh, all that, while we go through my leg day. So I'm just going to start off with that first exercise is I'm doing lying hamstring curls. Now my plan got adjusted, so I am doing new workouts now, which is fun and exciting. Nothing like super huge and crazy different, but it does kind of get me excited versus, you know, doing that same thing over and over and over. Um, here's just a different angle, but I've definitely been able to push myself. My strength has gone up, which is awesome because normally, um, I mean, that's what you want during a prep, but I just like, while going through this, I think I've really discovered how hard I wasn't pushing myself, right? I have discovered that like, there's this new limit that I've found in myself of like, okay, that's when I should be like, that's when I'm gassed. That's when I'm done. That's, that's till failure. And it's super, super exciting. And you would know this if you, if you've really pushed yourself to that point. Um, and you'll be like, holy crap, I've been holding myself back for way too long. So that being said, take a second now and think, do I push myself hard enough in the gym? Do I, do I really give it my all? Do I, do I fail? Do I, am I progress? Am I progressing? Am I going up five pounds? Am I like, where are you at in your journey? Are you keeping stats? Are you paying attention to any of those things? Or are you just kind of going in and aimlessly lifting, not following a plan, like ego lifting and lifting heavy, every single heavy, every time, because there's people around, like, like, what are you doing? You know, like make sure that you're, you're paying attention to those things and that maybe you are going to failure sometimes. Like for instance, right here on these reverse lunges, I drop the weights and then I just, I go till I can't no more and it sucks. And mentally I want to give up physically. My body is screaming, bitch, sit down. But I, I, I give it my all and I push through it. And I've just really seen tremendous changes mentally and physically because I've allowed myself to do this. And, um, yeah, I just wish that everyone could could feel the way I feel right now. Not the low energy factor and not the low carb factor, but I wish everybody could feel the mindset shift that I have, you know, really experienced through this whole process. And I think a lot of people out there, they say you shouldn't prep, you know, prepping is, it's unhealthy. It's bad for your body. It's uh, all these negative things, right? But nobody really tells you about all the positive things. You know, everybody just sees you on stage and they're like, wow, they look great. Nobody sees the in-between um, and, you know, I'll, being able to watch myself transform, not only physically, but also mentally, I now totally believe that that everybody should do this. Whether you're stepping on stage or not, you should put yourself through, you know, a 12, 16-week program, you know, and it's it'll really transform you. My dis <sighs> Just finished my workout. But I'm not done yet. I have to go do eight minutes of hit on the wind bike. That's what gets my heart rate up the most. Abs. So just when you think you're done, you're not. We've already been working out for an hour and a half. Still have to do that next cardio session in abs. So probably another 30 to 40 minutes. So let's go do that. So that absolutely sucks. But um, my current macros 
are 145 protein, that hasn't changed. Um, 40 grams of fat, that's been the same since the last time I told you guys. And then my carbs went from 130 to 80. So a decent drop. And um, we're gonna see how my body adjusts because if my, like if my energy drops a ton, then we're gonna do a refeed or if my weight just staggers, we'll do refeed. So maybe every three, to five days when we repeat. It just depends on my body and how it wants to react to everything. So we'll see what it decides to do and then I'll keep you guys updated on that. But overall, still leaning out, weight's still going down. And um, yeah, I'm exhausted and I'm tired and I'm drained, but I'm feeling really, really good and I'm super excited. So just gotta keep going, gotta keep going. Let's do, do some abs. No, I'm gonna literally look like a freaking like, a tangerine. I'm excited. I'm excited to see it. It's pretty cute. I've been seeing you work and I'm like, I know she's ready. I'm glad they're having it, you know? And they're not doing any presentation. how to like use the self timer on this camera with like an app so I can just like take a press a button on my phone and take pictures so I'll just pop up some of the pictures right here blah, blah, blah. pretty dope um, but yeah overall uh, good workout definitely kicked my butt I'm ready to go home and eat and then um, we'll do that next thing which is the teeth whitening thing um, yeah like my brain, I can't even form words right now because I'm just like blah, 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 blah. So let's go home and let's go eat. I'll show you what I'm eating for lunch. All right, I'm going to smash this food. I'm like really like super out of it right now. So I'm gonna eat, chill for a little bit, edit a previous video, and then we're gonna do the teeth whitening thing. So see you then. All right, here we are. We're gonna do this teeth whitening kit called Mr. Bright. Here it is. I got it at TJ Maxx for $19.99, compare at $28. So, uh, let's see how this thing works. Oh, okay. Got some info stuff. Ooh, this is cool. You can see what your teeth are at on this scale. So I guess we'll figure out where my teeth are at. And then this is what we got. Whoa, I don't know what that means, but we got this thing. Okay, then these things. This looks scary. But uh, that, it doesn't, that looks terrifying. But, all right, well actually, I don't know why I put that back. So we're gonna need that. We're gonna need this. Let's see. Let's see what my teeth are at. Actually, I should probably brush my teeth first, yeah? I'm gonna brush my teeth first. I brushed them this morning, okay? But I'm just gonna brush them again because I just had lunch. Ugh. All right, teeth are clean. They look great. Here's this compared to my teeth. I don't know what you guys can see, but what would you rate it? <laughs> I think it's like a eight, like an eight. It's hard to judge your own teeth. We'll say we're like right about there. It'd be nice to be like a two. I feel like a one is too much. A two would be good. So let's see what I need to do. Da -da -da. Uh, okay, apply one fourth of the gel from one tube into the mouth. Tray. Apply just enough to coat the frontal surface of the mouth tray for your teeth to be whitened, but not your gums. No fucking pressure. What is this? Okay, how does this, does this like start coming out when I push? Okay, so now my gums, like, that's challenging. So if I put this in my mouth. Mmm. 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 One fourth. 
Put it on the top and the bottom. Okay. Let's put this in here. I'm really nervous. <laughs> okay, this is a lot harder to push out than I thought. What the fuck? I feel like a surgeon right now. We're going into surgery. Here we go. Why isn't it coming out? Mm. Oh. I'm really smart. Maybe I should take the cap off. Okay, cap is off. And uh, that's why it was so hard to push out, Kayla. Okay. One. Okay, that looks like great. Like, I don't know. I think the bottom, yeah? Like, gotta get both sides of your teeth. I just hope that, like, some, some part of my teeth are white and then the others just don't get white because I didn't put it all. Like, that's what I'm nervous about. Let's just read it one more time. <laughs> Place in the mouth, press the button. Okay, for 10 minutes, you can do it at least three to four times per sitting. After use, rinse your mouth with lukewarm water and ensure that you have clean your mouth tray to keep it hygienic. Repeat this for six consecutive days each week. That's a lot. Okay. Here goes nothing, folks. Oh, I could not done that. Shit. It was going well. Uh-oh. <laughs> My mouth got really tired from like holding this in there at first and then Somebody above me just flushed the toilet. Okay. They look like slightly lighter. <laughs> I don't know. Do you, what do you see? I mean obviously this is only the first time. It says to do it for six consecutive days so uh, I'm gonna keep you guys in the loop on how that goes, Ugh. but um, my mouth's really dry now. My jaw hurt at first from closing, like, like clenching on it, but I just literally was started cleaning the house and then started editing um, a YouTube video, and then I was like, and then it started beeping. I was like, oh, okay, sweet, I'm done. So I did it um, three, almost thirty minutes. I did it for so. Yeah, I don't know. I'll have to keep doing it. And then we will see. I feel like I see like a very, very subtle change. So we'll see, we'll watch how it goes. So yeah, like and subscribe if you haven't already, um, especially if you wanna see if this works or not. <laughs> also, you should like and subscribe anyway, so whatever. But I am uh, gonna go finish editing this YouTube video. Oh, that's how you do it, did you see that? Good, good. Yeah, I gotta go to the gym in a sec, so. Yeah. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.